Texas here in the car park. Ah, we made some gains. We made all kinds of gains. In fact, I want to see what I look like under this light. So anyway, um, <laughs> enough of that. Post back sesh. We started off with deadlifts. I haven't actually done conventional deadlifts in months. It's it's funny with um, with deads. I tend to go through patches. I'll go. I'll smash them for like you know at least once a week, if not twice, and be absolutely loving it. You know. Um, smashing out, uh, you know, sets to failure, going fucking hard for like three or four months, and then I'll just go off it, and I'll I might put in rack pulls here and there, but basically I just I just wear myself out, and I just can't continue that kind of workout for you know all year round. So today we got up to 160 for sets of eight stop start, and then I used 140 for sets of 10 stop start. So. Working set was 160, three working sets of eight, um, and then I dropped it down to 140 and did a working set of 10. Anyways, people are coming. I ain't fucking doing this in front of people, so I'll see you at home. What is going on, guys? Beautiful day here in Alice Springs. It's uh, Tuesday morning, and it's probably about 30 degrees, and it's great. I think it's going to get up to about 36, 37 today, but um. I thought I'd just finish off the video from last night. So last night I hit back. I didn't actually end up telling you what the workout was, but my back is certainly uh, feeling quite sore today, and that's because I hit deadlifts and I went fucking hard. And deadlifts is still the only exercise that will guaranteed if I go, you know, pretty hard to failure for a few sets, it's gonna make my back sore. No amount of rowing movements, no amount of lat pull down movements. Has ever has ever made my back as sore as it is with deadlifts. So, what I was saying last night is that, you know, I go through stages. I'll go through stages of, of doing deadlifts really hard, and then my body will just tell me no, and I'll have to stop. So, at the moment, um, I'm doing rack pulls, but to, yeah, last night was like the first time in, you know, weeks, maybe even months that I've done actual deadlifts from the floor. Half of that reason is because the awesome deadlift platform that I used to use at Outback Gym. Um, I, haven't, I haven't been training there, so you know I haven't been able to use it, but um, the rack pulls are doing me good, but they're definitely not giving me that, that real soreness in the lower back, that real you know good muscle soreness, it's not bad soreness. Um, and so yeah, yesterday I hit them, we did, I think I said 160 for a, uh, three sets of 10, no three sets of eight stop start, which is you know relatively good for me, it's using straps, no belt. Um, I think my, my all-time goal would be to put 180 on the bar, that's four plates, and be able to do a good set of 10 stop-start and just smash it. You know what I mean? Like that. That is a pretty good goal for me. Um, and we're not there yet, and we won't get there in the next 11 weeks, that's for sure. But anyways, guys, hit some cardio after the workout. I'm really having fun with that, you know. Um, I know I, I am going to get over to Thailand and and get some Muay Thai training in but I'm just not sure when you know I've just bought this house finances aren't that uh, aren't that good anymore they were but um, you know a mortgage will do that to you I guess but anyways morning cardio beautiful morning as I said look at the sky I mean look at this shit that is what it's like every single day here guys it's pretty amazing but it gets fucking hot so I'm gonna leave you guys here not sure when I'll be back obviously when I've got something that I think is worth videoing and uh, I will see you guys then so thanks for tuning in if you haven't subscribed please do because we're nearly at 500 and a year ago I thought you know I thought 500 would be impossible so once we hit that it's on to the next milestone which will be a thousand so We'll see what we can do guys, it's just an average guy in Alice Springs, 
with above average ambitions because and I'm not letting the fire go out you know there's been plenty of times where I could have just given up on this YouTube thing given up on the gym thing well that's never gonna happen but certainly given up on this YouTube thing when I when I feel like I'm not getting anywhere no one's liking my videos and shit so I don't know hopefully shredding down sort of um, gives me that motivation to start making videos again because I've actually got something interesting to make them about or you know something that's that's rolling on day to day that I can make something about whereas without shredding down I'm, I've basically just got I guess I've got questions that I can answer which I'm planning on doing guys so and also I mean if you've got any questions fuck, hit me up because I'm going to make a bit of a list and then I'm actually planning on when I get to a thousand subscribers doing my first uh, proper question and answer video so yeah that'll be something to look forward to and if you've got any questions as I said hit me up message go on my Instagram Jacob McDonald Fitness whatever you want to do I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later and have a good day.